This is another long one. You know what to do. Hi everyone. Those that have been following the series may have noticed that uh, it might look a little different. I've uh, tightened things up a little bit so I can get all of the logic on one screen. Um, and that's primarily so we can see the jump logic in just a few minutes. Um, having said that, I think with one more uh, small demonstration program, uh, I'll have demonstrated all of the capabilities that this CPU currently can uh, do. And uh, so let's uh, just get right into it. In this program, we'll be incrementing a 16-bit number. Since our processor only has 8-bit memory, we'll have to handle the carry from the lower 8 bits into the higher 8 bits. Starting down here at memory location 16, we have the low 8 bits of our 16-bit number. And at memory location 17, or I should be saying 17 since it's hexadecimal, uh, we have the high order. Now I've preset it to FE so we don't have to count up through the first 254 iterations of this so um, it makes uh, makes it happen a little faster. We're going to use some of those techniques I showed in the last video too to manipulate the numbers and uh, enable us to test this a little more quickly uh, otherwise it could become quite tedious. So uh, beginning at the address 0 we load the A register with the low order 8 bits and then uh, we're using a new instruction to add an immediate value which is going to be a 0, 1 to the accumulator and then automatically store the results back in the accumulator. Uh, once that's done we're going to store the accumulator back into memory and then uh, we'll take in this add operation the carry bit will have been set or not set uh, depending on whether it overflowed or not. So in uh, beginning at uh, address 6 we're going to take care of the high order 8 bits by loading the number into the accumulator and then we're just adding with carry a 0. So if the carry is clear adding a 0 and a 0 will give you a 0 if the carry was set, then we're going to add a 0, a 0, and the carry, and we'll get a 1 output, which will uh, accomplish what we need when the carry is set. Then we save those results in the high order here, and we output it to the display register just so we can watch what's going on. Uh, just for fun, I didn't need to jump with a no carry condition here, but just to demonstrate that instruction. Uh, in most cases the kick carry will not be set but when we overflow our 16-bit number will actually drop into this uh, fun little piece of code that I wrote uh, to demonstrate some of the other instructions and it basically is just going to do some blinking to let us know that we've overflowed and um, this will use some tricks for example um, if you want to clear the accumulator or the A register um, and uh, affect the flags while you're at it. Uh, you can do a sub A, uh, so subtracting the accumulator from the accumulator is going to give you a zero in the A register. Uh, when I say accumulator A register, they're interchangeable. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not always consistent. Uh, but uh, as you can see here, this will also set the carry flag off, the zero flag on, and the sign flag off then we will output uh, our zero to the display register just for uh, fun. And then if we subtract a one from zero, then that's going to result in a uh, carry or borrow in this case. That will turn the zero flag off and because our number is now negative, the sign flag will go on. So you see we're alternating these. Um, that also yields a 255. Uh, which we would output to the display register and then we jump back up to blink and just repeat that process over and over until you reset. Alright, we should be ready to go then. So let's uh, start with the reset and then I'm going to step through this uh, somewhat uh, quickly till we get to the point where the carries uh, 
doing something. So uh, first of all we're going to load the accumulator with our FB and then we are going to add one to the accumulator. So there's our result, the FF. The carry flag is not set. We'll save that in memory. Now uh, we're going to do the high byte. So we'll load the accumulator with that, which is a zero. Now we're going to add a zero and the carry is clear. So we should get a zero for our answer. And we did. We're going to save that. We're going to output that to the display. And now we're going to jump back up and do it all over again. So this time when we load the accumulator we'll get the FF and now we're going to add one. We should get a zero but the carry, notice the carry flag is set now. So we need to save that result and now we're ready to do the high byte. We're going to load that into the accumulator. It's still zero at this point. And now when we add our zero and zero with the carry flag set, we'll get a one. We'll go ahead and save that in memory and then we'll output that to the display. Now we're ready to jump back up and do it all over again. And if I actually hit run at this point, um, we'll see very slowly <laughs> we progress towards um, the next time this is going to roll over. Um, at this rate it's going to take a while and um, I'm not sure how the video is going, how well the video is going to record this, but earlier I said you can control how fast the clock operates. Right now it's going pretty slow. If I speed it up, uh, let's try one kilohertz and see if we get a rollover. It's really hard to see if you watch down here in the RAM you can see the numbers incrementing but it doesn't show the whole range of memory so it jumps around it makes it uh, somewhat difficult. Yeah, We still haven't got a rollover so if we speed it up just a little, a little more all the way up to the maximum we should see there we got a rollover and every, every few seconds we see it count. Each time it counts that's 200 and 56 times through the lower 8 bits so uh, that's still pretty good for a simulator. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and uh, slow that clock back down to a less migraine inducing rate. There we go. So I'm going to um, help speed things along here a little bit and uh, I'm going to modify the memory. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to edit. And uh, the number that it's displaying, we see the 6 is here. So if I go ahead and set that to FB, this is the high order 8 bits. That's going to gener generate a carry uh, pretty quickly. Actually, let's set it to FF so we can get our uh, we're up to FF and our low order is up to 9B so it shouldn't take us too long to count up to that and get our overflow. So um, we can even speed it up a little faster. Let's uh, put an F0 in there. So we're, we're only 15 away from overflowing. So we'll close the window. We'll go ahead and resume running. Uh, shortly we'll see the display update. So we'll have to go through a few more counts before it starts alternating. A, F, B, 
and there's our zero for the overflow. All of this content is available on my GitHub repository. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos in this series. And as always, thanks for watching.